Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms and much much more. So, let's go. Everyone. So, continuing our journey into DAX functions. We're going to see today how we can create a simple table by writing a DAX formula. Yeah, you heard me right. We can create a table using DAX. And specifically, we're going to create a table for calendar, a single column table which will have calendar dates in it. I'm going to use the same data that we used last time so that it's easier to understand and relate what we're doing. So in order to create a new table from DAX, first step that we need to do is we need to go to the modeling tab. Okay. And inside the modeling tab, you will see a button called new table. All right. So click on this button called new table. Instantly, you will see a formula bar where we will be entering our DAX formula. Okay. So we're going to cover two basic DAX functions today. First one is calendar and second one is calendar auto. Okay. So I'm going to start with calendar. So what calendar does is it creates a table for you from a starting point and an end point of date that you give to the DAX function. So let's say the starting point for my DAX is 1st of January 2022. And the end point is 28th of Feb 2022. Okay. And close. So I've given it a starting point and an end point. All right. And I press enter. The moment I press enter, it created a table here. Okay. You can rename the table as per your liking. But if I go to the data view, as you see, it has created a table for me. I'm going to quickly format this into a date format instead of a date time format. Okay. And as you see, it created a list of dates for me. Starting from 1st of January to 2022 till 28th Feb 2022. Okay. Now, if you remember a couple of videos back, we learned how to create rolling dates using M query. The difference between that approach and this approach is that in that approach, we had a specific parameter for defining duration. Okay. So, I mean, suppose you want the dates, dates to have, you know, one day duration or two day duration or three days duration, you can use that approach. But if you do not want that and just want a simple start date and end date and want to list down all the dates between those dates, then you can use this approach instead of that one. So this one is simpler in case you do not want that advanced capabilities. Coming to the second DAX, which is calendar auto. So I'm going to delete this table and I'm going to tell you why I'm deleting this table. Okay. I'm going to delete this from model. So what calendar auto does is it's kind of a intelligent feature or intelligent DAX within Power BI, which detects the existing dates within your model. So right now in my model, if you consider this as a model, although we do not have any additional tables here, but if you consider this as a model, uh, this table has a date column, which has dates from 1st January till 5th January, 2023. Okay. What calendar auto will do is it will detect the dates that are existing in your model, right? And create a range of dates, which, which includes those dates. Okay. And the dates that it creates will be come covering an entire year from Jan to December. So let me show you how, okay. Let me just create a table once again. So I'm going to go to my modeling tab and I'm going to click on new table and I'm going to write calendar auto and I'm not going to supply any parameter here. You can just close the brackets and press enter. Okay. It has created a table. And if I go to my table and format it to a date format and see the results, I've got every date starting from 1st of January, 2023 till 31st of December, 2023. That is because calendar auto generates a list of dates, which covers an entire year, but it ensures that it covers the dates which were present in my model. Okay. So let's just test this theory out. Okay. I'll go to my transform data section and within transform data, I'm going to add a new step to replace 1st of January, 2023 to 1st of January, 2022.
Now I'm gonna go back to my, I'm gonna press and close and apply. Let's go to my data view. And if you see my calendar auto function automatically detected that my first date, the data which my model contains is starting from 1st of January 2022. So that well, that's why it included 2022 in here, right? It started from 1st of January 2022 and ended till 2023, 31st December because my end date falls in 2023. So that's why it has included that year as well. I hope this was helpful and you learned something new today. And we're going to continue this DAX exploration in our future videos as well. And we're going to cover a lot of stuff within DAX more in detail. And if you're liking my content, so please consider subscribing to the channel. That will really help me out. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.